So, uh, yeah, I spend now most of the day on the computer. Um, this is my mouse I used to use most of the time. Then, uh, when my wrist started hurting a bit, I switched over to this one, which is, uh, was an improvement, but then my thumb still hurt, so I basically, for a good while, I just basically just switch around between the two and that will, you know, help the most, uh, not overstressing one or the other. And then of course, Log Logitech or Logitech or whatever you say, it, got the vertical mouse, which helps even more. And it is pretty cool. I like it. Um, then I saw uh, this, this thing, the key mouse, which is, I do like macros because I, so I, it's basically my, it's the same as this one, but of course I put, I, you know, I put a bunch of keyboards, or, or, uh, keyboard shortcuts on it, uh, and I do like it. But now I kind of want to, I've been kind of working on my own uh, thing, which is basically a vertical mouse that I can also have this kind of keyboards on. And key mouse, they have a, a cool mouse, but it's flat, and I... Kind of wanted like a more like a joystick experience, more like a completely vertical. Like even this one is not. It's kind of like it's. Uh, I think they say fifty-seven degrees or something like that. So I kind of wanted, and you kind of have to grab it like this, and it's. I, you know, when you spend all day, working with it, you kind of start noticing the. Um, uh, you know, little things. So I kind of decided to do my own, and first I wanted it to be like completely vertical so I can like kind of do this and um, so so far this is what I have and I'm still working on it and I put let me put this on so if I put this and so you know you grab it like this and it has a bunch of Cherry MX switches here uh, these are blue and these are brown uh, so I'm still working on it. This one doesn't have any electronics in it, just the hole. Um, yeah, this is what I got so far. And so you grab it like that, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah, pretty much completely vertical. So uh, it feels better right now. I, obviously, I never can use it all day yet until I have the electronics in it. And uh, so, yeah, I and this, this button has to move. Uh, Either up, or I'll just replace it by this one. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm still. This is usually spacebar for me. I usually put escape on, you know, like on these mice. Uh, they have these two, so I usually put sp spacebar and escape. So I'll just probably put spacebar here and escape here, or here. Um, and then here I'll. This will be the three clicks, and scrolling that kind of thing. Copy paste a bunch of shortcuts that I, I have uh, for my other hand I already have uh, this keyboard which is what I use for shortcuts most of the time mostly are After Effects or uh, programming shortcuts but yeah anyway so for the electronics I'm actually not doing them myself I looked around for like a for like a mouse uh, sensor that I could buy and I couldn't find one, and then I, I went back for some reason. Some something told me, or not something told me, but somehow I had a feeling that the key mouse guys uh, they had components uh, because they do a lot of different products, and obviously they can't. You know, they they basically use the same components, and I realized they had components, so um, I ordered. A bunch of electronics from them, and actually the all the Cherry MXs, the switches. Uh, let me show, like here. Actually, let me go back to the electronics in a little bit. Let me show you something first. Let me show you my earlier prototypes of this because this is obviously still a prototype. Uh, I, it doesn't, you know, fit any of the electronics. It's just flat on the bottom. But let's go further here. Yep. Hope it doesn't fall off. So before that one, I had 
Well, it was this one really, but it didn't. Well, let me see. Well, it was this one, but it it never really finished printing. And this one, because I ran out of the roll finished and I, I was not home. So I never noticed, but this one has the crevices and everything, and this one was like this, but it's a little uncomfortable. This curve is a little uncomfortable. It's actually less comfortable than the previous uh, prototype, which was uh, this one. But this one obviously doesn't have any crevice yet. This one I just wanted to see, like get a feel. Oh, let me, sorry, for the framing. There you go. This one is actually the most comfortable yet, uh, even more than this one because this one, it's, I went a bit too tight on the hand uh, curve here. Uh, this one has more room and it's actually pretty comfortable for, let me move this around. It's actually pretty comfortable. And uh, of course it doesn't, the only problem is other than no, no crevices for the cables or wiring or anything like that, uh, this edge is too thin. So I even like, the, the you know it would go through <laughs> to the other side of the um, you know the other side of that wall um, so that's impractical uh, I, and I guess if I just use this row I could do it I would just have to add a like a, a boolean and just subtract like a shaft for all the cables but I actually um, I decided to, sorry, I actually decided to go with a more modular approach, so, because, you know, running cables down there and that small, it would, this one doesn't have anything yet, um, running the cables down that way, kind of like with this prototype, uh, I had a feeling it was going to be a pain in the butt, obviously, if the top is not on, it's easier, but when, if this printed completely, run the cables, like, for, what, 12 keys down this shaft it was going to be a pain in the butt so i kind of did it in a different way this one's built in a different way so there is a piece like that but smaller because this is the first fit test that i did actually i can show you with the, with the real one so there is this piece let's see if i can there you go so there is this piece, oops, this piece that holds all the keys and that fits on a piece like this. This one, uh, the, the layer, the <laughs> the raft kind of took away the, uh, <laughs> the base of it. Anyway, but there's a piece like this one, similar to this one. This it's, this is an older version, obviously. And that attaches onto this curvy part. Uh, and then, so it's three pieces. And then, so that, that way I can, you know, do all the cables here and then just kind of like, close it like this and then just screw you know close it with a screw here and here uh, and then I can screw this part the curvy part to this little book the frame basically uh, throw a screw here and another one here but it's it's not aligned right now but but yeah um, so yeah that's where I'm at and uh, I'll show you the earlier prototype just because it's funny uh, this one's one prototype earlier and I know what it looks like. Um, but yeah, this one didn't have buttons or anything. This was, uh, I just put like little bumps here just to see where the size and all that stuff, just to see if it was comfortable and all that. Um, and actually the first prototype is the more penile looking one. And this was actually straight. I just used a lighter here to heat up the, 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 <laughs> The plastic so I could like you know fit it at an angle that was comfortable um, yeah and uh, but yeah anyway this is number one number two yeah they number three number three and number f well I guess this is four this little this is four and of course I'm on five right now yeah, yeah, and of course, um, yeah, so I bought the electronics, let me go back to the electronics, but yeah, 
Uh, I might actually put like a little switch, not not like this big switch, not like a full key. I'm thinking of putting, by the way, you know, little switches like like these guys. Uh, they're like little buttons. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to see how the cables are running, but you could put like two, maybe for like plus and minus uh, for the sensitivity or something like that. Uh, and then I could put two like that, like you know, so they're like this, this little guys. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll find. I'm still deciding on that. I gotta get the electronics running first, and actually, uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I. So I got the board from, from Key Mouse, and they're not sponsoring or anything, they're, I just bought it from them. <laughs> uh, because they were the only people, or the only company that I found, and they were really nice. Uh, when I ordered my Key Mouse, they, they helped me. I, I actually added a little extension here for my wrist, and they were really nice about helping me out with, uh, you know, with what I needed for the, for, to, to make it fit. Um, you know, so I bought, so I like them, and uh, yeah, so now I bought the electronics from them, and they actually have a, I bought this, I bought the scroll wheel, which I don't know yet if it'll fit, um, yeah, I'm not sure it will fit, I, I, I wouldn't know where to put it really, but it was like three dollars, and I'm like, if I need it, I'll have it, I don't have to like, it'll be seven dollars to ship just that. So I just ordered it. it was like three bucks or something so I ordered it just in case and it if I don't use it for this I can still use it it's a you know it's just an encoder and a button so I can use it for other projects anyway let's go back to this um yes so the electronics so I hooked up this is the little mouse sensor uh, yep mouse sensor right there and uh, actually I'm gonna hook it up right now and we'll see what happens. And since I didn't do any electronics, this is, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna work because, because, uh, you know, that's how they do their mice. So let's see, I'm gonna show the computer. Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna, it's gonna take this, I guess. Let's see if it works. This is the real mouse, the regular mouse that I'm using right now, just to, to adjust this. All right, and let's see if this way I move this out. Hmm. Oh, maybe I gotta. I I think I gotta turn it on. Um, yeah, I forgot. So I I was looking at the board earlier, and I saw the power switch. Um, uh, I don't have a power switch right now. But, okay. One second. Okay, but I have this. So let's see. Hmm. Right, that should do it. That's the. Yeah, yeah, it's moving. Uh, I got the. It's upside down, so I got the axis wrong. But it's moving. Yeah. Well, this is not the most ergonomic mouse at this moment. But, cool. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'll uh, I'll show you. I have something else to show. But uh, thanks for watching on my Friday quick rant. I guess. Well, not rant. Thanks for watching on my Friday. I don't know. Just. Eh. <laughs> I'll right, see you guys on the next one. Bye.